Colorado High School Activities Association basketball is on Morgan County's B106. And the Eastern Plains Sports Network tonight from Valley High School in Gilcrest. It's a non-conference battle as the Fort Morgan Mustangs take on the Valley Vikings. I'm John Beltran and we are starting nearly an hour late. And that's simply because the Fort Morgan bus was late to arrive. And let's see who's jumping center for Fort Morgan brought to you by Buildings by Design. The very best in the business, Buildings by Design. Quality, commitment, and experience makes Buildings by Design the only choice when it comes to your next project, Valley at 7-7 seven and seven, and Fort Morgan at 2-14 and 14 is the Viking basketball. It is Olivia Wolf, Emma Christensen, Kirsten Dahl, Jenna Fritzer, and Jenna Montoya, the leading score for Valley. Marcella Carvajal is out due to injury. And here on the outside left of the basketball, Cindy Mendoza. Now back to Peyton Savolt, averaging 11.6 points a game, the leading score now. And in terms of an active player, on the left wing to April Fuentes. Lob inside, there's some contact, but no whistle as Cindy Mendoza had the basketball. Back out straight away to Peyton Savolt. Savolt to her right against Emma Christensen. Swings it left side over to Savolt. That's Jordan Savolt. Now at the top here to April Fuentes. Or they're taking their time. Over to Peyton. She'll put up a three, and that's banked and no good. And the rebound and put back is up, and that's off the back of the rim. And Hallie Sherman gets it again. She'll kick it back out on the right wing to Jordan Savolt. Dribbles into the right corner, backs it out here to Peyton. The two Savolts out there for the Valley Vikings. Oh, they're just moving this thing around rather methodically. Down underneath, we've got a whistle and a foul, and that's, nope, it's a traveling violation against Valley. Well, a little bit sloppy there, but the Mustangs catch a little bit of a break. And here we go on the outside right. Jenda Montoya with a basketball. Bounce pass at the top for Fritzer. Down low for Kirsten Dalt. Banks and misses. And the ball is tipped around into the hands of Jordan Savolt. No score. Six and a half to go in the opening quarter. Savolt in the paint. Now down low in the lane to Hallie Sherman. She's going to have to kick it back out to Peyton Savolt. Now at the top here for Sherman. Sherman with a basketball to her left to Jordan. Jordan Savolt holding the ball up high. Dribbles left of the lane. In the lane. Bodied up in a foul. On Fort Morgan, that's going to be a foul on Emma Christians in her first. And to throw it in will be Savolt. And down low off the back of Montoya. Then she hooks and she scores. That is Jordan Savolt. That's why you don't have your back to the inbounds passer. Two to nothing. Left of the lane. Here's a little 10-footer up and in. Left baseline. That is Jenna Fritzler. And the Mustangs have tied the game at two. The other way. Here come the Valley Vikings. With the basketball is Jordan Savolt. Savolt down low and then we get a foul. And that's gonna be an offensive foul on Hallie Sherman. Second turnover by Valley. Here come the Mustangs the other way. Deadlocked at two. On the outside right with a basketball. Is Fritzer down low for Dahl. She banks and partially blocked over there by April Fuentes. And taken out of the pack by Jordan Savolt. Here on the long pass is Mendoza. Cindy Mendoza near the top is going to hand it off to Peyton Savolt. Savolt with a basketball. And we have a ball knocked out of bounds. It's off of Valley. Their third turnover. Here come the Mustangs the other way. Deadlocked at two. 5-10 to go in the opening quarter. Christensen on the high left. Dribbles towards the baseline. Bounce pass down low. Fritzer turns. Throws it off the bottom of the backboard. And the ball's into the hands of Peyton Savolt. Here's Peyton at the top of the outside right to Jordan. Jordan bounce pass over there to Hallie Sherman. Holding the ball up high. On the left wing. Here is Peyton Savolt. Guarded by Christensen. Tied at two. 4.49 to go. Here in the opening quarter against Christensen. And had the ball stripped by Kirsten. Dahl at the free throw line. Dahl's got a one on two. She might have to slow it down. Dahl all the way. Puts it up 
and it's stuffed right back into her face. April Fuentes blocks it. Hallie Sherman with the block, and once again, Dawes got that part of her game that she's got to work on. No pump fake whatsoever. She just threw it right into the hands of the defender for Valley. Here's Peyton Savol to the high left at the top for Fuentes. Fuentes against Mendoza. Swings it right side, and that was not Mendoza, but uh, that's Chenda Montoya. Then we got a push on Fort Morgan on the high right. And that foul is committed by Olivia Wolf. The Mustangs have two team fouls, one for Valley, deadlocked at two, 4.15 to go in the opening quarter from Gilcrest. Fort Morgan bus got here late, that's why we started so late. On the right baseline, Jordan Savolt throws up an air ball from 10 feet away. And Jenda Montoya with a rebound. Here come the Mustangs. At the top is Christensen. Dribbles to her left, left of the lane. On the high left to Wolf, fakes the three. Now she's picked up by Savolt. Down low for Fritzler and nearly tied up. Bounce pass inside to Christensen, bags and scores. A oh, nice job of Fritzler making sure that she was not going to get tied up and Christensen was wide open for the layup. And the Mustangs lead 4-2, 32nd timeout called by head coach Steve Starcher. We are two minutes shy of the top of the hour. This is Morgan County's B106, KPRB Brush Fort Morgan. Mustangs going for their third victory of the season, leading 4-2 with 3.54 to go in the opening quarter. Here from Gilcrest. The Mustangs have yet to make a substitution and neither is Valley. Again, Valley's leading scorer, Marcella Carvajal, out for the season due to injury. Not sure what the injury is. So they have not made a substitution either. To throw it in in the backcourt will be Cindy Mendoza. Light pressure applied by Fort Morgan. As Dahl and Fritzer will back up. Now, this is definitely a winnable game against this 7-7 seven seven team. Here with the basketball is Peyton Savolt in the backcourt. Picks up the dribble. Now to Mendoza near midcourt. Dribbles across the timeline. Double team. She's going to have to get rid of it. She is harassed over there by Montoya. And Christensen throws it away to Fritzer. Fritzer nearly threw it away. She gets it off the deflection. Now to Christensen on the high left. Fourth turnover for Valley. The Mustangs have yet to commit a turnover. Here is Christensen with a right-handed dribble on the high left. Swings it left wing to Fritzer. Fritzer dribbles at the free throw line into the paint. Bounce pass to Emma Christensen. She dribbles. She's got a foul there. She was tripped up along the baseline. And the foul was committed by April Fuentes, her first. Both teams with two team fouls and Olivia Wolf to throw it in with 3.20 to go in the first quarter. Wolf lobs it near the top for Fritzer. Dribbles at the free throw line. Left side to Christensen. Fakes the three. Bounce pass to Dahl down low. Double team. Left corner three. Wolf is off the back of the rim. Cindy Mendoza grabs the rebound for Valley. Approaching the three-minute, five-second mark of the first. Fort Morgan four, Valley two. Three-pointer, Savolt is an air ball, and it's out of bounds off of Fort Morgan's Jenda Montoya. It was missed by Peyton Savolt, and Mendoza to throw it in for Valley. Valley in their home whites, coached by Randy Earl. Mustangs in their road blacks. Here is Jordan Savolt, dribbles on a high left against Wolf. Now back out to Peyton. Mustangs in a 2-3 defense. Peyton at the top. Swings it left side for Jordan Savolt. Well behind the three-point line, guarded by Wolf. Now to Peyton. Now Jordan Savolt, and they're moving it around slowly. That's why they can't get off a shot. Bounce pass near the top here to Mendoza. Straight away. Here's Savolt. Now Jordan Savolt's three is in and out. And the ball is loose. It's rebounded in the corner by Cindy Mendoza. Mustangs getting creamed on the boards in the early going. Getting out rebounded 8-1. to one. But they lead 4-2. to two. On the high right, three-pointers up, and that's good. And that's made by Peyton Savolt. And Valley's in the lead 5-4 to four with 2.19 to go in the first. On Morgan County's B106, KPRB, Brush, Fort Morgan, Christensen gets a pick. 14-footer is off the back of the rim. And the ball rebounded by Dahl momentarily. Lost control. It's out of bounds. And it is off of Valley. Nope, it's off Fort Morgan. But the official's got to go one way or the other. Didn't signal anything. And the Vikings to throw it in with a 5-4 to four lead. Two minutes to go here in the opening quarter. Here's Peyton Savolt jump pass to Jordan. A lob down low here is Fuentes straight away on the left wing. Now a three-pointer Peyton Savolt is off the back of the rim. And the ball is loose. It's picked up by Mendoza. Again, the Mustangs not getting the loose balls. Mendoza on the high right back out to Jordan Savolt. Picked up by Olivia Wolf. A minute 40 to go in the first quarter. Hallie Sherman. Right of the free throw line, lob inside of the banking and scoring by 
Jordan Savolci beat Wolf to the point. Valley now leads 7 to 4. Minute 28 to go in the first. On the high left is Wolf. Back out to Christensen. Christensen with a right handed dribble. Now to Fritzer. Fritzer dribbles into the paint. 13 foot pull up is around and good. Off the front of the rim and in for Jenna Fritzer. She's got two. Well, she's got four actually. It's 7 to 6 with a minute 10 to go in the first. On the high left is Jordan Savolt with a basketball against Wolf. Lobs it at the top for Fuentes. Looking down low, Montoya is right there defensively. She's going to have to get rid of it. Right side to Peyton. Peyton Savolt lobs it inside and banking and missing as Jordan Savolt and Olivia Wolf pulls down the Mustang rebound. Wolf across the timeline with 51 seconds to go in the first. The Mustangs can reclaim the lead. Hands it off to Fritzler. Fritzler now, she's got Fr Christensen wide open. Now feeds her on the left wing. Backs up. Takes the three. Good! Emma Christensen drills the three-pointer on the left side. And the Mustangs back out on top, 9-7. to seven. They're now in a 5 nothing run with 29 seconds to go in the first. Jordan Savolt in the backcourt, lobs in front court over to Fuentes. Now in the left wing, Peyton Savolt, three, is going to be off to the right, and that's going to head out of bounds as it was off the back of the rim as well. And Fort Morgan will have one final opportunity with 20.6 seconds to go. Isabella Soto is the first substitution of the game. She's in there for the Valley Vikings. Here comes Olivia Wolf for Fort Morgan. Wolf with a right-handed dribble near the head of the three-point circle. Swings it left side to Christensen. 11 seconds to go. Dribbling towards the top. Mustangs had got moving here. Montoya back out to Fritzer. 11, five seconds to go. The three by Wolf is going to be short. And the ball is rebounded in the corner by Peyton Savolt. At midcourt throws it up. And that's going to be an air ball. That's the end of the first quarter. With the score, Fort Morgan 9, Valley 7 on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. John Beltran with you as we head to the second quarter. The Fort Morgan girls lead in Gilcrest over the Valley Vikings 9-7. Kirsten Dahl, Jenna Fritzler, Emma Christensen, Jenna Montoya, and Olivia Wolf for Fort Morgan. No substitutions as of yet. And the same starting five with the exception of Isabella Soto in there for April Fuentes. The two Savolts are out there along with Hallie Sherman and Cindy Mendoza. Mustang basketball on the outside left. Wolf with the basketball holding it up high. Now on the high right, here's Montoya. She's got a defender beaten, pulls up from 15. Yes, Montoya dribbled by Cindy Mendoza and scores a wide open shot. And Fort Morgan trailed 7-4. They're now on a 7-0 run with 7.33 to go before the break with a basketball. At the top here is Jordan Savolt. She's pushed and fouled by Olivia Wolf. That's going to be her second foul. Head coach Steve Starcher might have to make a substitution here. And let's see if he goes to his bench. At some point right now, yep, here comes Madbea Estrada Diaz. Madbea in there for Wolf. Inbounds pass to Peyton Savolt against Christensen. Dribbling towards the head of the three point circle. Bounce pass on the outside right for Mendoza. Straight away to Sherman. Sherman guarded by Jenna Fritzler with 7.15 to go before the break. Three pointer. Peyton Savolt is off to the left. And the ball is tipped around. It's still tipped around. And it's rebounded over there by Jordan Savolt. Valley has destroyed Fort Morgan on the boards. They've got 11 rebounds to two for Fort Morgan. Offensive foul. An illegal screen there, apparently, on Valley. And that's going to go on Isabella Soto. Here's Fort Morgan the other way on the high right is Christensen. Valley hasn't scored in a while. Bounce pass down low for Dahl. Turns, shoots, and misses off the back of the rim. The ball is tipped into the hands of Jordan Savolt. Here comes Valley the other way. Long pass for Sherman. She banks, and she misses, but a foul. And I think Emma Christensen committed her second. She did. That's a big foul against Fort Morgan. That's the leading scorer all season. And now two free throws for Hallie Sherman. Neither team has attempted a free throw. Until right now, the first one by Sherman spins, shoots, and connects. Valley ends the 7 0 run by the Mustangs. Second free throw is coming up for Sherman. That one's up, and that's in. It rattles home. And Valley draws to within two. It's 11 9. Backcourt pressure. Dahl with a basketball. Dribbles, gets a pick from Christensen, picks up the dribble. Now here comes Christensen, a four on three. Middle of the lane, Christensen jump pass to Montoya, left baseline, dribbles. Now to Fritzer, 15-footer, it's an air ball. On the left baseline, Savolt with the basketball, that's Jordan. Across the timeline, on her own, dribbles towards the right corner. Back out to Mendoza with a left-handed dribble at the top. Mendoza swings it right side to Jordan Savolt. 
Guarded by Dahl and a foul by Dahl. She's just way too close to her. You can't play defense like that. First and Dahl is just way, way too close. I mean, that was going to get called every time. And the Mustangs with a substitution. That is going to be Kendra Brenneman into the game. So Brenneman is in. And there's the missed shot of the rebound by Sherman. And Sherman trying to go back up and throws it through Soto. And they chase it down near midcourt. Resetting his valley on the outside left is Peyton Savold. Now back into Jordan. At the top here is Hallie Sherman. Six minutes to go second quarter. Fort Morgan 11, Valley 9. Soto near the head of the three-point circle to Peyton. Now to Jordan. Back to Peyton. Behind the three-point line to Soto. Guarded by Estrada Diaz in the right corner. Here is Fuentes with the basketball. Tips it back out off the deflection. Moving it around. Entry pass is intercepted by Kirsten Dahl. Dahl, right of the lane. Dahl banks and scores and misses. Oh, that was halfway down. And going back up and being fouled is Fritzler. She will go to the line. Nice rebound by Jenna Fritzler. And the foul. I'm not sure if that was, yeah, that was on uh, Peyton Savolt. That's the team's fifth. And Fritzler to shoot two. She's got four points, and this free throw is up, and that one is in. Jenna Fritzler has extended the lead for Fort Morgan. It's 12 to nine with 5.38 to go, second quarter. Second free throw on this senior night here from Valley High School in Gilcrest from Fritzler is in the air, and that one's perfect. She's got six leading all scores. The Mustangs lead by four. And the clock is yet to start. The clock. Who's got the clock operator? The clock is yet to start. Nobody, that started way late. And the ball is out of bounds. Got to pay attention there. That took about 15 seconds, but only five seconds of clock. And the ball knocked off of Fort Morgan. Valley to throw it in. This is Jordan Savolt. And she throws it off the back of Dahl. And then a reverse layup is an air ball. But it's picked up by Fuentes. On the outside left to Peyton Savolt. Savolt left to the lane. Has a shot blocked, but a foul. That foul is on Kirsten Dollar's second. Brooklyn Cundiff will check in. Drives me crazy when a clock operator is not looking at their own work. They're just enjoying the game while the game is being played, and they're not... Doing exactly what they have to do. The free throw here is up, and that one is off the back of the rim. By, I'm not sure which Savolt, that's uh, Peyton Savolt. Second free throw is upcoming. That's in the air, and that one rattles out. And the ball is tipped around into the hands of Brenneman of Fort Morgan. There's the long pass to Estrada Diaz. Left baseline, Estrada Diaz trapped over there. Has to kick it into the lane to Montoya. A little 10-foot runner is off the back of the rim. No good. And the ball is rebounded by Jordan Savolter. Sixth rebound. She's out rebounding Fort Morgan by herself. Straight away, three-pointer. Yes. That is Jordan Savolt. The Mustang did not pick her up. She's got seven. Mustang lead is down to one, 13 to 12. 4.55 to go before the break. Montoya on the high right, and she traveled. Believe it or not, with 4.54 to go in the second quarter, that's the first Fort Morgan turnover of the game. So they've been very disciplined. Valley can take the lead on this possession. Mendoza to throw it in. The Mustangs had a 9-7 lead after one. And the Valley Vikings come the other way. Here's Peyton Savolt at the point guard with the Mustangs in the 2 3. Swings it left side to Jordan, picked up by Estrada Diaz. Well behind the three point line, lobs it for Fuentes at the head of the three point circle. Swings it right side to Peyton, fakes the three, picked up by Fritzer, maintains the dribble. Now looking, still looking down low, holds the ball up high, bounce pass right baseline for Jordan and fouled by Estrada Diaz. And Fort Morgan playing defense a little bit too tightly at times. 16 foul. Estrada Diaz with her first. And Cindy Mendoza to throw it in with four and a half to go before the break. Fort Morgan 13, Valley 12, looking for the cutter here. Throws it outside right to Jordan Savold, dribbles into the lane. The runner's up, seven-footer, no good. And Sherman and Fritzer go for the rebound. There's a tie-up, and it stays with Valley. 
Possession arrow pointing in their direction. Mendoza to throw it in, but Fort Morgan is getting lambasted on the backboards. Mendoza, bounce pass down low for Sherman. She lost control. She got it back. Kicks it out left corner. Peyton Savol three is off the back of the rim. And the ball is rebounded by Jordan Savolt, her seventh. Again, she's got more rebounds than Fort Morgan as a team. The Mustangs only have three in the game. On the high left, here's a Jordan Savol three-pointer. That's off to the left. Rebound to Sherman. Scoops it up and in. That's terrible defense by Fort Morgan. Horrendous. They're not blocking out whatsoever. They're down by a point. 14 to 13, Estrada Diaz, right baseline, picks up the dribble, bounce pass to Fritzer. She turns, she cannot shoot. Then her ball is tipped away, taken by Estrada Diaz, right baseline, shot is in. Off the glass, Estrada Diaz, a little six-footer. Nice shot by Matbea. Matbea scores, and the Mustangs have reclaimed a 15 to 14 lead with 3.37 to go, second quarter. On the high right is Jordan Savolt against Estrada Diaz, dribbles to her right, dribbles by Estrada Diaz, banks and scores right off the glass. Yeah, Estrada Diaz got caught flat-footed, and the Mustangs down by one again, 16-15. to 15. Here's Matbea the other way into the paint. Bounce pass, right baseline, Montoya, 10-footer, good. Nice assist there by Estrada Diaz, and Montoya scores again. She's got four. The Mustangs have reclaimed the lead, 17-16, to 16, 3.08 to go in the second. Here is Peyton Savolt. It looked like she traveled. She was tied up instead by Fritzler. Possession arrow pointing in Fort Morgan's direction. Well, this game is getting some rhythm now. Fort Morgan did have a 7-0 run in the game. Cundiff is back in for Jenna Fritzler. Timeout by head coach Steve Starcher. Coach Starcher calling the timeout with 3.07 to go before the break. It's Fort Morgan 17, Valley 16. Mobile banking on the go makes banking easier for you when you're on the go. That's equitable savings and loan. And, of course, B&B Appliance and Repair, from refrigerators to vacuums and everything in between. They've got incredible stuff there at B&B Appliance in Fort Morgan. A lot of items we purchased from B&B Appliance. So it will be Fort Morgan basketball leading by a point. Right now the Mustangs have got six points from Fritzler, five from Christensen, four from Montoya, and two from Estrada Diaz. Jordan Savolt leads Valley with nine points. Once again, their leading score this season out due to injury, Madsela Carvajal, averaging 14 points a game before she went down. And that was, I'm not sure which game, but it was not in this game. Cundiff, Jessica Sanchez into the game for the first time. Fritzler, Estrada Diaz, and Kendra Brenneman. Not too much offense out there for Fort Morgan. Jenna Fritzler is the one they're going to be looking for on the offensive end. Here's Estrada Diaz on the left wing for Fritzler. Steps in, backs it out to Cundiff. Cundiff at the top, right-handed dribble, bounce pass to Estrada Diaz. Now she forces a bounce pass, poked out of bounds. I'm not sure what Matbea saw there, but that one was extremely risky, and it's out of bounds. Mustangs get a break as Brenneman will throw it in. Yeah, you don't want to force it. They've been disciplined so far. On the high right, Estrada Diaz, left-handed dribble. Now into the paint is Fritzler. She's trapped over there. Kicks it back out to Brenneman. Brenneman in the paint. Left wing to Fritzler on the left baseline. Can't take the shot. Back out to Matbea. On the high right, here's Kendra Brenneman. 2.37 to go in the second quarter. Fort Morgan leads by a point. On the outside left is Fritzler looking for a pick. Doesn't get it. Bounce pass down low for Sanchez. That is forced and intercepted. Not a good pass there by Fritzler. Second turnover by Fort Morgan. Got to be patient. That's why Fort Morgan is 2-14. and 14. I mean, the other teams have talent, but you got to be patient. That was a total force out there. Here is Jordan Savolt against Estrada Diaz. Cross court to Peyton. Excellent defense, though by Fort Morgan in this game. They're playing very well defensively with the exception of the rebounding. At the top near is Hallie Sherman against Jenna Fritzler. Two minutes to go before the break. April Fuentes against Cundiff. At the top now for Mendoza. Swings it right side to Jordan Savolt. Fakes the three. Dribbles right baseline. Going to have to dribble it back out against Estrada Diaz who's playing outstanding defense. Right now on Jordan Savolt. Picks up the dribble. Lob at the top for Sherman. Guarded by Fritzler. Holding the ball up high. Right side to April Fuentes against Cundiff. Bounce pass outside left to Savolt. Lobs it inside to Peyton. Banks and scores with the left hand. Right off the glass. Peyton Savolt got free. And Valley has reclaimed the advantage. 18 to 17 with a minute 27 to go. Second quarter. Here's Fritzler dribbling right baseline. Bounce pass for Cundiff. Cundiff is trapped. Back out to Fritzler. Fritzler dribbles right baseline. Backs up 15 footer. It's an air ball. 
Jordan Savolt with her eighth rebound. Again, not much offense out there for Fort Morgan. Long pass by Sherm to Sherman. She's fouled by Estrada Diaz. She will go to the stripe. And Allie Sherman to the line. Estrada Diaz commits her second. Allie Sherman has four points all in the quarter. She will shoot two for Valley. And the free throw is up, and that's off the back of the rim. Second free throw up coming. This game has been tight the entire way. Estrada Diaz and Brenneman are out. There's some offense in there for Fort Morgan and Olivia Wolf. Also in there, Allison Holdcroft, also a senior. Second free throw for Sherman is in the air. That's good. Allie Sherman's got five in the quarter, five in the game. It's a two-point lead for Valley. Olivia Wolf grabs the inbounds pass. Left-handed dribble across the timeline. Left of the lane. Wolf all the way. Puts it up. Misses left baseline. Fritzer goes for the rebound. She's got it on the floor. Has to get rid of it. Does to Sanchez. She's trapped underneath. And then she lost control of the basketball. Take it away by the Valley Vikings. Valley comes the other way with 51 seconds to go. Up by two in the second quarter. At the top is Hallie Sherman against Jenna Fritzer. Mustangs have 17 fouls. Do not want to commit one here and put them on the line. At the top now is Mendoza. Mendoza straight away. Bounce pass in the high left. Here is Peyton Savolt against Holdcroft. Down low for Sherman. Sherman in the paint loss control. Got it back. Fuentes wide open. 15-footer. Banks and misses. And the ball is loose. It's rebounded by Hallie Sherman again. Wow, this team's just... Again, we can't emphasize it enough. Fuentes at the free throw line. 21 seconds to go. And Valley's going to look for the final shot, at least according to head coach Randy Earl. Peyton Savolt to the high left. Lobs it down low for Jordan. Banks and misses. And the ball is rebounded off the deflection by Jordan Savolt. Now there's seven seconds to go. Sherman into the paint all the way. Scoops it up short. And the ball is tipped around. It's out of bounds off of Valley. Fort Morgan is getting out rebounded in this half. 20 to 4. I mean, they've got to get aggressive on the boards. It's awful. Baseball passes. Knocked away. Here's a three-pointer. Savolt. That is off the back of the rim. Not a good pass by Fritzer. Mustangs got away with that. But it's been a very good first half so far. A very competitive first half. And the Valley Vikings are in the lead over the Fort Morgan Mustangs through 16 minutes of basketball. It's Valley 19, Fort Morgan 17 on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. As we head to the third quarter, Valley has the basketball first and they lead Fort Morgan 19 to 17. Here's Jordan Savold back out to Hallie Sherman. Jump pass inside Peyton Savold. She's trapped underneath by two Mustangs. Backs up, left baseline shot is an air ball. Jenna Fritzer pulls away the basketball for Fort Morgan. Fritzer across the timeline. Now to Emma Christensen at the top. Mustangs with their starting five to begin the game are out there. Entry pass is intercepted by Mendoza. Fifth turnover by the Mustangs. A force there by Christensen. Here at the top is Jordan Savold back out to Sherman. Sherman straight away swings it right side to Fuentes against Montoya. With a basketball is Jordan Savolt against Olivia Wolf. Dribbles to her right, spins in the lane. Then she's trapped, nearly had the ball stolen. It's loose on the left baseline. It's out of bounds off Hallie Sherman. Valley with their seven turnover. Fort Morgan will attempt to tie the game as they're down by two with 6.43 to go in the third. In the left corner, Fritzer penetrates left baseline. Bounce pass right baseline to Dahl. She scores. Kirsten Dahl, little 10-footer, was wide open. Her first points of the game. Valley 19, Fort Morgan 19. 628 remaining in the third. Bounce pass and a high right to Jordan Savolt. Now at the top for Sherman. Guarded by Fritzer. Swings it left side now to Peyton Savolt. They're just moving it around way too slowly. They're just standing around in the Mustangs right now in a man-to-man -man sort of defense or woman-to-woman. -woman. And there's a foul on Fritzler. She reached in. Not a good foul by Fritzler. No reason to reach in 20 feet away from the basket. And only her first, though. And to throw it in, three-quarters court is Mendoza. Bounce pass near midcourt to Peyton Savolt. Peyton against Christensen, picks up the dribble. Bounce pass right side to Jordan. Lobs it inside to Peyton Savolt. It's out of bounds off her right hand. Valley with her eighth turnover. Fort Morgan can take the lead. 
Wolf across the timeline, left-handed dribble, dribble the ball off her foot. Fritzler tries to save it in, but does to Valley's April Fuentes, then to Olivia Wolf inside to Fritzler, and she traveled. The team's exchange turnovers. The Mustangs committed two in that sequence. Valley with one. And Valley will take it here with Jordan Savolt. 19-19, 5.43 to go in the third quarter. Lob left to the free throw line for Sherman against Fritzer, holds the ball up high. On the right side to Fuentes, looking down low. The Mustangs have that offense trapped. Bounce pass left side to Sherman, behind the three-point line against Fritzler. Holding the ball again up high. Right side baseball pass to Fuentes, guarded by Montoya. Yeah, they can't find anybody down low. Peyton Savold cannot take the three. Right wing to Jordan Savold, dribbles against Wolf and fouled by Wolf. Yep. That's a good call. Olivia's using the hands to play defense. Can't do that. That's her third foul. Second team foul for the Mustangs and Mendoza to throw it in in front of the Valley bench. Three quarters court. Mendoza bounce pass near midcourt to Peyton Savolt. Slow, methodical moving offense. That's why Valley can't score much. Tied at 19. At the head of the three-point circle to Fuentes. Bounce pass left side to Peyton, takes the three, and that's off the back of the rim. Long rebound to Emma Christensen. Mustangs doing a much better job of rebounding in this quarter. On the high left, here's Wolf holding the ball up high. Olivia Wolf swings it left corner for Dahl, dribbles to her right. Dahl on the right side, right through the hands of Fritz, out of bounds, got to look that in. That was a perfect pass, and she did not look it in. Fritz commits Fort Morgan's fourth turnover of the quarter, eighth of the game. Yeah, you don't want to be too quick. Here's Jordan Savolt into the front court. Valley is yet to score in the quarter. On the high right to Peyton. Peyton down low to Sherman. Dribbles. Puts it up partially blocked. Picked up by Fuentes. And she's fouled by Montoya. She'll take two shots as she missed. April Fuentes is yet to score in the game. And she will be at the line for Valley. 434, not just a bank in Colorado, their bank of Colorado, a proud supporter of local sports and academics. Free throw by Fuentes is up and in. Valley has the lead at 20 to 19 with four and a half to go in the third. Second free throw off the four bounce is in. Valley 21, Fort Morgan 19. Wolf the other way for the Mustangs. Chest pass down low for Fritz or out of bounds again. Right through her hands. Got to catch that. Wow. I mean, Jenna really struggling here. That's a good pass. Got to make that catch. Could have had a layup. Here's Valley the other way on the outside right to Peyton Savolt against Christensen. Peyton swings it at the top now for Jordan, guarded by Wolf. Overhead pass right side to Peyton Savolt, looking down low. There's a lob inside, that's forced. Nice play by Christensen, intercepted. Here is Christensen, down low to Wolf. She hooks and fouled by Jordan Savolt as she missed Wolf to the line. Valley with their 10th turnover of the game. And Jordan Savolt with her first foul. Let's see if Wolf can tie the game. Mustangs only with their third and fourth free throws. That one is off to the right. Got to shoot it straight just to have a chance. Second free throw for the senior, Olivia Wolf. Left-handed dribble, bends, shoots, and scores. One out of two. Valley 21, Fort Morgan 20. Four minutes to go third quarter. Lob inside. What a force there. Out of bounds. That time they worked it too quickly. And Hallie Sherman was guarded by two Mustangs, and it went over her head. The turnover by Jordan Savolt, and Fort Morgan can reclaim the lead. Here's Wolf on the outside left, gets a pick from Fritzer, jump pass to Fritzer, left baseline. She's trapped over there, and it's going to be a tie-up possession arrow to the Fort Morgan Mustangs. And Wolf to throw it in. Jenna really struggling in this quarter. Left corner for Fritzer, back out to Wolf. Left corner, three is up. Good! Olivia Wolf off the pick, scores a triple in the left corner. Fort Morgan 23, Valley 21. 3.37 to go in the third. Here is Peyton Savold back out of the high right to Jordan. Jordan against Wolf with a left-handed dribble. Now towards the head of the three-point circle. At the top now. Here once again is Jordan Savold. Bounce pass to Sherman. It's 
It's only about a one-foot pass. Sherman left of the lane, back out to Mendoza. She's not looking to shoot. Dribbles to her right. Chest pass right side to Peyton Savolt, guarded by Christensen. Jump pass to Fuentes straight away. Now back out to Jordan Savolt. In between midcourt and the top of the three-point line. Left side to Sherman. They cannot get any movement here offensively. Jordan Savolt against Wolf. Lobs it down low for Peyton. She's double teamed. I don't think she can get off a shot. And now she's going to be tied up. Possession arrow stays with Valley. 2.56 remaining in the third. The Mustangs with a two-point lead. Yeah, that stays with Valley. Fort Morgan just got the last one. And Mendoza will trigger it in. Nice job of Fort Morgan. Down by two, now up by two. And a 4 nothing run. And all the points scored by Wolf. Mendoza, it's got to be a five-second count. Now back out to Peyton on the right wing. Near the top now to Jordan. Jordan will take the three, and that's up and off the window. Got nothing but window. Fritzer with her second rebound. The outlet to Christensen on the high right. Christensen right baseline, tries to force it up, and then had the ball tipped, nearly threw it away. And now there's a tie-up in the lane between Fritzler and Mendoza. That'll stay with Fort Morgan. But again, you don't need to force it. Emma tried to force it there. Be patient. You've got the lead. Bounce pass in the right corner for Dahl. Back out to Christensen. Left wing to Montoya. Now in the left corner for Wolf. Picked up by Saval. Dribbles by her. And she's fouled. Nice move by Olivia Wolf. And Peyton Saval commits her second. That's the team's third. Check it. Her, their second. Fort Morgan's got three team fouls. Isabella Soto checks in. Only a six person rotation for Valley. April Fuentes is out. Two and a half remaining in the third. It's Fort Morgan 23, Valley 21. Wolf on the offensive end. Bounce pass inside to Fritzer. Fritzer had the ball. Was he, she tied up or was it knocked out of bounds? They're going to say a tie up. That'll go to Valley. That really was not tied up long at all. But again, another forced pass. And I know Valley's defense is not as strong as some of the other teams, but you still want to throw crisp passes. On the right wing, Peyton Savolt. Overhead pass at the head of the three-point circle to Soto. Bounce pass, left wing to Jordan Savolt. Against Olivia Wolf with 2.12 to go in the third. Fort Morgan leads by two. And we've got a five-second violation on Valley. Savolt just held the ball. They had six turnovers of the break, six more in the third. Wolf to throw it in. Christensen gets loose in the backcourt. Into the front court to Wolf for the right wing. Wolf has been hot here lately. Gets a pick from Christensen. Lobs it left corner for Fritzler. Check it. Montoya and Fritzler right next to each other. Inside for Fritzler. Puts it up and had the shot partially blocked. Dahl tries to save it in. But that would have been off of Fort Moore, of, off of Valley. I don't know why she did that. Here's Valley the other way. Yeah, that would have gone out of bounds off of Valley. But Dahl, I think, thought that it was just a miss there by... Jenna Fritzler, they reset with a minute 38 to go. On the outside right, Peyton Savolt dribbles and a defensive foul as going to the floor was Jenna Fritzler. That's her second on the drive by Savolt up the right baseline. 14 foul against Fort Morgan and Valley to throw it in to the left of the basket on the offensive end. Estrada Diaz will now check in for Montoya. Fort Morgan looking for their third victory of the season against this 7-7 seven and seven Valley team. Mendoza lobs it inside to Sherman. Puts it up and in. Off the glass. Hallie Sherman cut to the basket. She's got seven. We're tied at 23. A minute 27 to go in the third. Left baseline. Here is Fritzer. Left of the lane. Trapped again. Get rid of it. Does to Wolf. Wolf left of the lane. Wolf had the ball stripped away. And picked up by Sherman. The Mustangs are just getting sloppy right now. They're tied at 23. But they could have a, a lead in this game if they just played some clean basketball. Sherman at the top of the left wing to Jordan Savolt. A minute five to go in the third. Holding the ball up high against Olivia Wolf. Dribbles by Wolf in the lane. Throws up a runner. That's off the bottom of the glass. And Olivia Wolf has the rebound. That's her second. There is the outlet to Emma Christensen. And then she traveled. Yeah, I don't know what Emma's doing there. She just kept running with the ball. Seven turnovers by Fort Morgan in the quarter. This is the Fort Morgan team we've seen too much of this season. But they're still tied at 23. And let's see what we have here. They'll reset the play. No timeout was called. Apparently something got loose. Or I don't know if they're going to redirect some of the fans. Yep, they are. They're redirecting them out of the gym. 
Here comes Valley the other way. That's why the stoppage occurred here. In the backcourt is Peyton Savolt now to Jordan. And the jump pass down low for Mendoza. Banks and scores. She was wide open. Cindy Mendoza went glass. And Valley has got the lead. 25-23. 30 seconds to go. Christensen then was traveling again in the lane. Yeah, this has got to be a team game. Emma, two possessions in a row. has just gotten crazy there. Slow it down and set up the offense. Eight turnovers by Fort Morgan. They were up 23-21. Now it's a two-point lead for Valley with 25 seconds to go. In the backcourt, Jordan Savolt holding the ball up high. Lobs it front court for Mendoza. Bounce pass inside for Sherman. Ball is loose in the floor, and it's picked up by Estrada Diaz. And we got a foul in the backcourt on Mendoza. Valley with their seventh turnover of the quarter. Mendoza with her first foul. We had 10 turnovers total at half. In this quarter, the teams have combined for 15. Sloppy basketball. 14 seconds to go. Right wing Christensen. Bounce pass. Down low for Dahl. And she puts it up and it's an air ball. And yeah, that was an ugly miss. Peyton Savolt with a basketball for Valley. Four seconds to go. Now to Jordan with two. She'll put up a 20-footer. Good. That is a bomb there by Jordan Savolt. That's a killer. Valley ends the third quarter on a 7-0 run. It's Valley 28, Fort Morgan 23 on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Lady Mustangs had a seven, check it, a two-point lead and a 7-0 run by Valley now. Mustang basketball, 28-23, headed to the fourth. Wolf three-pointers off the front of the rim. Ball tipped to Dahl, but I think we had a foul from behind on Fritzler. Yep, she went over the back. Jenna Fritzler commits her third foul. And now Valley can take a three possession lead, which is a huge lead in a low scoring game, even though we're 15 seconds into the fourth. It is Estrada Diaz, Wolf, Christensen, Dahl, and Fritzer for Fort Morgan. Both Savolts out there, Sherman, Fuentes, and Soto for Valley. Soto on the outside right to Peyton Savolt. Now to Soto on the left wing for Jordan. Lob down low, and there's a foul by Dahl on the entry pass to Sherman. Dahl with her third. Fort Morgan not playing well at all. 16 foul. They scored just six points in the quarter, committed eight turnovers. They were much better in the first half. Peyton Savolt to throw it in. There's the lob on the outside left to Sherman. Against Estrada Diaz. Lobs it now at the top now for Jordan Savolt. With a right-handed dribble. Left side to Peyton. Behind the three-point line. Left corner for Sherman. Back out to Peyton Savolt. Straight away for Soto. Chest pass. Left of the lane for Sherman. Bodied up. Back out. Three-pointers up and good. Made by Jordan Savolt. She's got 15 in the game. Valley's on a 10-0 run. 31-23. Wolf in the left corner. Back out to Christensen. Emma Christensen with a right-handed dribble. Guarded by Jordan Savolt, who's gotten very hot, including that shot to end the third. Bounce pass down low for Fritzer. Double team. Back out to Christensen. Fakes the three. Into the lane. Puts up a runner off the back of the rim. No good. Dahl went for the rebound off her right hand out of bounds. Valley basketball. And the Mustangs have gone cold here in the second half with six points in nine minutes and 15 seconds. Valley with control of the basketball in the game right now. Soto on the high right. The Mustangs need a stop and a bucket. Soto looking. Lobs it at the top for Fuentes. Guarded by Dawn. Fort Morgan's already committed six turnover, uh, 16 fouls, I should say. So every foul from here on out gets Valley to the line. Peyton Savolt on the outside left, guarded by Christensen. Swings it straight away for Sherman. Sherman against Fritzler. Right side to Savolt. Jordan takes another three, and that's good. She is unconscious. I mean, she's taking parking lot threes. Three in a row. And the lead is now 11. Estrada Diaz fouled. It's now a 13 to nothing run for Valley. Foul on Isabella Soto. Wolf to throw it in. Right corner for Dahl. Back out to Strada Diaz on the right wing to Wolf. Straight away for Christensen. Through her hands. Picks it up. Left of the lane. Back out to Estrada Diaz. At the free throw line. Bounce pass for Dahl. Out of bounds. I mean, that was a good pass. I don't know why Fort Morgan's trying to catch it and shoot it at the same time. One motion and then the other. It's just frustrating to watch because they're better than this. But they are looking really, really sour right now. Nine turnovers and a half. And only six points. Down by 11. They were up 23-21. Valley scored the last 13 points of the game as we have 5.36 to go in the game. 
Soto on the right wing with a basketball against Estrada Diaz. Jump pass. Jordan Savolt another three, and she hits it off the bottom of the glass. And a nice rebound there by Kirsten Dahl. They're going to say offensive foul. Oh, you got to be kidding me. That's not a good call. Head coach Steve Starcher is beside him. That is not good. I mean, Hallie Sherman was all over her. Not a good call. Dahl with her fourth foul is credited with her second rebound. And Soda to throw it in. Right corner, Jordan Savol picked up by Fritzer. She won't take the three right there. She's the difference right now in the game. On the left wing to Soto. Now in the left corner, chest pass to Sherman. Now to Savol. She'll take another 20-footer. Yes, she did it again. Holy Mahungas. Jordan Savol has got three threes in the quarter. Here's Kirsten Dahl, timeout. Steve Starcher, it's a 16-0 run for Valley. They're up 37-23. Wow. I mean, this is insane right now. Completely insane when you consider that Jordan Savolt has nine points in the quarter. That's one player in the quarter, not the half. Fort Morgan has six points in the entire half. None in the fourth quarter. Just over five minutes to go in the game. And Jordan Savolt, not even averaging double figures this season, has scored 21 points. She's almost got as many points as Fort Morgan does as a team. I mean, this was a really close game. It was 25-23. And then Jordan Savolt hit the first of four three-pointers. It came at the buzzer to end the third. Dahl, Estrada, Diaz, Christensen, Fritzler, and Wolf for Fort Morgan. Peyton Savolt, Jordan Savolt, Hallie Sherman, April Fuentes, and Cindy Mendoza for Valley. Mustang basketball, but they need a huge run right now. On the outside right, Wolf in the corner. Back out to Estrada Diaz. Straight away, Emma Christensen left of the lane. She goes all the way, puts up a runner, missed it. But the rebound to Fritzler. And Fritzler went up for the shot and foul. She never got it off, but they're going to say it's a shooting foul. And Jordan Savol commits the foul her second. Fritzler can end the 16-0 run by Valley. We'll have a brief post-game show, and then we'll head back to Fort Morgan and... Get back with you on Saturday morning at 11.30 from Johnstown. The free throw is banked in. Right off the glass. Fritzer now is seven. Second free throw is in the air. And that one is off the back of the rim. Rebound to Hallie Sherman and tied up by Dahl. But it stays with Valley. Valley. Mendoza to throw it in. Lob is going to be intercepted by Fritzler. Bounce pass inside. That's forced. And it's taken away by Sherman. I don't know why Jenna did that. Yeah, it's like the Mustangs think that there's not a defender out there. I mean, it was I could see it 50 feet away. You can't throw that in there. Sherman straight away. And then that pass to the right side. Intercepted. Nice interception by Daw. And she banks. And she misses, but a foul. That's a foul on Sherman Valley. Now has 15 turnovers of their own. Allie Sherman commits her second. Kirsten Daw at the line. But you still trail by 13 with 425 remaining. Free throw is a line drive and it's off the back of the rim. For Kirsten Dahl. Second free throw is up and in. High Plains Bank. Find out more at highplainsbank.com. Lob in the front court to Fuentes. Wide open. Sherman underneath the basket. Banks and misses. And the rebound. And I think we have a foul there on Sherman as Fritzer grabbed the rebound. One and one situation. Well, Fort Morgan's trying to score with the clock stopped. We're going the other way. And two free throws to be attempted by Fritzler with Fort Morgan down by a dozen. 37-25, Sherman now has four fouls in the game. Fritzer can make this a 10-point game, but she's got to make the first to earn the second. Free throw is up and perfect. 
Valley 37, Fort Morgan 26. Second free throw for Jenna Fritzler. She bends, she shoots, and connects. Well, let's see. A couple of stops here. Nearly a steal in the backcourt and a foul. Foul near midcourt by Jenna Fritzler. Off the pass to Jordan Savolt. That's going to be Fritzler's fourth. Oh, we don't want to be stopping the clock this much. Oh, man, this will go on forever. Jordan Savolt with a one and one. She has nine points in the quarter, 21 in the game. Free throw is up, and that is off to the left, and the ball is tipped around. It's still loose, and it's into the hands. Nope, Savolt had it. It's out of bounds. It's off Dahl, who went diving along the baseline. Off her fingers. The Mustangs still having trouble grabbing rebounds, even though they're better this half than they were in the opening half. Mendoza to throw it in. Here the timeline to Peyton Savolt. She, she scored 14, making 11 points a game this season, only five in this game. Peyton's got to get rid of it. Baseball pass over the right hand of Mendoza out of bounds. Turnover number 16 for Valley. Under four minutes to go. Valley 37, Fort Morgan 27. The Mustangs have scored the last four. Wolf with the left-handed dribble on the right wing to Dahl. Dribbles right baseline against Fuentes. Puts up a runner up and in along the right baseline. Steve Starcher wants his team to press. Dahl now has five points in the game, 37-29. Mendoza at midcourt. Bounce pass to Jordan Savolt. Front court pass to Peyton. Holding the ball on her right hip. Back out to Jordan just beyond midcourt. 3.33 to go in the game. The Mustangs are on a 6-0 run. On the high left now to Peyton Savolt. Peyton against Christensen. Bounce pass to Soto near the top. Don't want to foul right there that far away for the basket. Jenna almost committed her fifth. And that would not be a good one out there. Mendoza straight away. Guarded by Estrada Diaz. Back out on the right side to Peyton Savolt. Holding the ball up high against Christensen. Swings it right side to Jordan. Jordan's not going to take a three here because Olivia Wolf is right on top of her. Dribbles. Spins right of the baseline. Back out here to Isabella Soto. Now to Peyton Savolt in the left wing. We have three minutes to go in the game. Mustangs might have to start fouling. Watch out. Wolf got a hand on the offender but does not commit the foul. Jordan looking. Still looking. Swings it out on the left side to Peyton Savolt. 2.48 to go in the game. Valley's held the basketball for 45 seconds on this possession. Peyton against Christensen. Hands it off to Jordan Savolt. We're down to 2.39 to go in the game. Left-handed dribble into the paint. Lob left side for Mendoza. Free throw line for Soto against Fritzer. Don't commit that fifth foul. Back out to Peyton Savolt. 2.28 remaining in the game. Wolf nearly committed the foul. Left baseline. Jordan Savolt trapped over there and then had the ball stolen by Estrada Diaz. Here come the Mustangs. Crossing midcourt. It's a five on three. Estrada Diaz to Fritzler. All the way. She puts it up and she's fouled as she misses. Two free throws for Jenna Fritzler. And the foul is on Soto. Well, that was tremendous defense by Fort Morgan. Great defense. Fritzer's already attempted four free throws in the quarter. She's made three of them. She can make this a two-possession game. The first free throw's up and good. Valley 37, Fort Morgan 30. The Mustangs have scored seven in a row. Hallie Sherman replaces Isabella Soto. Free throw number two, and the Mustangs will press right now for sure. Fritzler bends, shoots, and scores. 37-31. Timeout, head coach Steve Starser. How about this for Fort Morgan? On an 8 to nothing run, they were down by 14. They trailed by 6. Valley 37, Fort Morgan 31. It's not over yet. Wow. You never know what happens in this sport. Jordan Savolt at Valley on a roll when she nailed three threes in a row. But Fort Morgan has come back. Let's see if they can come back all the way in this one. Dahl Estrada Diaz, Fritzler, Christensen, and Wolf. It is Mendoza, the two Savolts. April Fuentes and Hallie Sherman for Valley. Backcourt, Mendoza to throw it in with 2.16 to go in the game. Mendoza swings it backcourt, nearly stolen by Fritzer, taken by Fuentes and poked away by uh, Emma Christensen. Now the pass into the hands of Peyton Savold. She goes all the way, she'll lay it up and in. 
They beat the pressure. Savolt now with seven. Her first points of the half. Stops the 8-0 run. Christensen the other way. Puts it up and in. And a foul. Christensen to the rack to the right of the basket. That's what she wanted to do earlier when she committed back-to-back -back turnovers. And April Fuentes got her with a body. Well, that's the idea. But you got to have the lane. And that time, Emma had the lane. 39-33, free throw. Christensen is in and out. Rebound to Fritzer, puts it up, and in and a foul with the left hand. Holy Mahungas, what a play, and the foul was committed by Cindy Mendoza. Fritzler with the end one. Wow. What a comeback here by Fort Morgan. Jenna Fritzler to shoot the free throw to make it a three-point game. It's in and out. Rebound to Mendoza. That's a huge miss. That's her fourth rebound. Mustang still in it. A minute 51 to go. 39-35 Valley. Mendoza on the high right with the basketball. The Mustangs are on a 12-2 run. And then Christian said, oh, you cannot push her. That's going to be an intentional foul. She just pushed Peyton Savolt. You've got to go for the ball. I think they're just going to call that a conventional foul, but that's not smart there by Emma. You've got to go for the ball. And let's see. Yeah, they're just going to call a push. But you've got to go for the ball. That could have been called intentional. And it'll be a double bonus situation. Yeah, the Valley fans wanted an intentional foul. And it, that could have been the call. Peyton Savolt to shoot two. You have to go for the ball. The free throw is up and in and out. Oh, that was only the 19th foul. Check it. My bad. And the rebound to Kirsten Dahl. Lob to Estrada Diaz. 10-footer. It's an air ball. And it's taken away. Oh, she missed it badly. The Mustangs commit the foul. Fritzer's out of the game. She just committed her fifth. Yeah, that's too bad. And Jenda Montoya will check in. That's a big loss there for Fort Morgan. 13 points for Jenna Fritzler. Estrada Diaz had a wide open look and missed it very badly. She was wide open from 10 feet away. She threw it about two feet over the basket. And now two free throws for Peyton Savolt. She just missed a second ago. That's the 10th team foul. Double bonus. And the free throw is in. 40-35. to 35 Valley. A minute 36 remaining. Second free throw is upcoming. This was a 12-2 run for Fort Morgan after trailing by 14. This free throw is up. And that is a round and good. Mustangs don't need a three. They just need a bucket. Minute 33 to go. Christensen straight away right side to Dahl. Dahl dribbles right baseline. Don't want to force it here. Christensen into the lane. She is pushed. Double bonus situation. That's a foul on Peyton Savolt. That's her third. Emma Christensen to shoot two. Again, she can make it a four-point game with a minute 27 remaining. Valley 41, Fort Morgan 35. Free throw is up, and that is good. Emma Christensen has eight points tonight. Fritzler leading Fort Morgan with 13. Jordan Savolt leading Valley with 21. Second free throw for Emma is in the air, and that's in. Down by just four, 41-37. Backcourt pressure. Mendoza lobs it in the back to Peyton Savolt. Savolt picks up the dribble. Oh, and that time she was fouled. Oh, I think there was a possibility of her traveling, but Estrada Diaz did get her across the wrist, committing her third foul. Again, double bonus here. Peyton Savolt just went two for two. She's back at the line with a minute and 20 seconds remaining. Free throw is up, and that is perfect. Hit nothing but net. Savolt has made her last three after missing her first three. She's got 10 points in the game. The lead is five, and the lead is six. 43-37. Mustangs again need a bucket. Wolf on the left side of Christensen. Wide open three. She'll take it. She'll drill it. Emma Christensen has got seven points in a quarter. Fort Morgan down by three. A minute eight to go in the game. On the left wing. Here is Jordan Savolt. She's trapped and fouled. Fort Morgan cannot reach. They've got her trapped. And for some reason, they're reaching. You don't want to do that. And I think that was Estrada Diaz or Christians in one of those two. And 
Let's see, it's it's not an intentional foul. I mean, that's just a regular foul. It's a timeout by Valley. Yeah, I'm not sure who committed the foul now. I didn't see the signal, but it was either Emma or Marbella. Yeah, you don't, it, once you have them trapped, just remain standing. Don't lean, don't reach, don't lunge. That could have been a big turnover, or they could have called a timeout right there at midcourt. But anyways, the double bonus. Valley 43, Fort Morgan 40, a minute four to go. The Mustangs were down 37 to 23, and since then have gone on a 17 to six run to make this a winnable game. So here we go, it'll be the double bonus. Oh, are they going towards midcourt? I saw the signal of a push. Oh, here's what happened. I think they called a timeout before the push. Yep, the timeout was called before the push. So that's why they're having it at midcourt. Okay, that makes sense why I didn't see a signal. So no foul committed by Fort Morgan. Dahl, Montoya, Estrada, Diaz, Christensen, and Wolf. Uh, Jenna Fritz are fouled out with 12 points. Mendoza to throw it in just beyond midcourt with 64 seconds to go in the backcourt to Peyton Savold. Don't want to foul her. She's been making free throws against Christensen. Dribbles across the timeline. Got to force her to get rid of it. Dribbles right baseline all the way. Puts it up, and she missed it. Ball is tipped over to Jordan Savold. Oh, she grabs her 10th rebound. Now Fort Morgan might have to foul. Over to Sherman at the free throw line. Left of the lane all the way. Puts it up. Back ribbed it. No. And the ball is rebounded again by Valley. Jordan Savold with her 11th. 37 seconds remaining. Well, Fort Morgan had their chance here. They're going to lose this game because they can't grab a rebound. Here is Jordan Savold, 28 seconds to go. Swings it back out to Peyton. Now we're down to 26. Christensen doesn't want to foul. Dribbles to her right towards the corner. Peyton spins. Now we got 19 seconds to go. Now they're going to have to foul. And Christensen reaches and fouls with 16.7 seconds to go. Head coach Steve Starcher is incensed. But you had to do something. You had two chances to grab a rebound. And Peyton Savolt, I think I've been saying it incorrectly the whole time, Savolt now will shoot two. 43 to 40, Savolt with a free throw. It's up and that is good. It's a two possession lead. Fort Morgan down by four with 16.7 seconds remaining. They're gonna call a timeout here after this free throw, whether it's made or missed, according to head coach Steve Starcer. And that one is back rib, but she grabs the rebound. No block out. Well, Fort Morgan's done this to themselves. And now Jordan Savold is fouled with 12 and a half seconds to go. You want to look at the rebounding today for Fort Morgan. 12 rebounds in the game. And Valley has got 29. Free throw is up and around and no good for Jordan Savolt. Second free throw upcoming. It's only going to be a five-point game if she makes it, but Fort Morgan's going to need a bucket, then a timeout. Or they might take the timeout right now. Second free throw is up, and that's good. It's 45-40. to 40. Now the Mustangs take it. Their comeback's going to fall short unless Valley does something really ridiculous here. Couldn't grab a rebound. Yeah, I'm recounting. Six, 16, 20. That's what I got. 29 rebounds for Valley. And 12 for Fort Morgan. You can't win a game like that. They didn't even block out the free throw shooter. It was a 21 to 5 difference at halftime. Fort Morgan's done better here in the second half, but in the last minute plus, they can't grab a rebound. Three offensive rebounds grabbed by Valley. We are past the top of the hour. This is Morgan County's B106 KPRB Brush Fort Morgan. Fort Morgan basketball, it's 45 to 40 with 12 and a half seconds to go. Well, I think you just go for a three here. A two uh, is not going to do you as much as a three, obviously. But you get a three, maybe there's about four or five seconds to go, and then who knows? Valley will back off. Well, now here comes Jordan Savolt. It's in the Christensen, Christensen at midcourt with 10, with 9, take the 3 on the left wing, backs up, takes the 3, good! Emma Christensen nails the 3, Mustangs need a foul or something, you got a foul right now, 2 seconds to go, 
Oh, and they foul. No, that time ran out. There should be time on the clock. There should be time on the clock. Yeah, they got to put time on the clock, but that but Fort Morgan should have fouled immediately. And 45-43, but they, they ran that clock way too much. That should have been a foul with about maybe tenths of it. Fort Morgan could have fouled with two or three seconds left. And I don't know why they decided not to do so. Emma has fouled out. She had a huge fourth quarter with 10 points. She scored 15 in the game. Four tenths of a second to go. And Peyton Savolt will shoot a deuce. Boy, what a valiant effort by Fort Morgan. Down by as many as 14. They draw to within two. But Valley right now appears to have this one. And the free throw by Savolt is off the back of the rim. Second one is upcoming, but you got to throw it the length of the court. You're almost better off missing it if you're Valley. Because the time will then run out. Second free throw is up, and that's good. That's now, now let's see what head coach Steve Starsher decides to do. I mean, I would have missed that. You missed that, and Fort Morgan loses this game. Now there's the outside shot that you can grab it, just throw it. All in one motion. 46-43 Valley with four tenths of a second to go. Yeah, I don't understand why you make that one. There's no reason to make that free throw. You miss it off the front of the rim, and that ball gets rebounded, and the time's going to run off the clock. But now they allow Fort Morgan with a, I mean, an improbable, improbable chance of making anything here. It's got to be a miracle to send this game into overtime. Christensen has fouled out. Fritzer has fouled out. Montoya, Brenneman, Dahl, Olivia Wolf, and Marbella Estrada Diaz. There's only one that can take it here. This has got to get into Olivia Wolf. That's the only one who can take this shot. Or this he from about 60 or 70 feet away. There's no other recourse. And you cannot grab it and shoot. It's got to be all in one motion. Time will run out. Dahl to throw it in. And you don't want to throw a baseball pass length of the court. That's going to be a baseball pass. It's intercepted. The time has run out. And Valley has won the game, 46 to 43. Post game show is brought to you by Morgan Community College, here to make your dreams become a reality. For all students, that's Morgan Community College. This was a tight game, then Valley went up by 14, 37, 23. But, they win by only three. Final score, 46 to 43. Let's run through the numbers. Fort Morgan led nine to seven after a quarter. It was 19-17 Valley at halftime. The Mustangs then scored six points in the first 10 minutes of the second half. And that's why they found themselves down 37-23. It was a 16 to nothing run, but Fort Morgan came back with a strong run of their own, a 17 to six run. Emma Christensen nailed a couple of three-pointers. As Fort Morgan fell to 2-15, and 15, Valley at 8-7. and seven. Emma Christensen led the Mustangs with 15 points, 13 for Jenna Fritzler. Kirsten Dahl had 5, Olivia Wolf had 4 in the game, and 4 for Jenda Montoya. For the Valley Vikings, 22 from Jordan Savolt, 13 for Peyton Savolt, 7 from Hallie Sherman, Cindy Mendoza and April Fuentes with 2 apiece. And Jordan Savolt had 12 rebounds unofficially for Valley. She had as many as Fort Morgan did as a team. Dahl and Fritz were with three apiece to lead Fort Morgan. Valley with 17 turnovers. The Mustangs with 15. At the free throw line, the Mustangs took quite a bit in the second half. As we uh, run through those numbers, the Mustang, Mustangs made nine free throws in the second half and missed five. So nine out of 14, 11 out of 16 in the game. And in the second half for Valley, they made nine out of 14 as well and were 12 out of 20, 60% in the game. Fort Morgan has two regular season games remaining. 
Saturday morning, 11.30 in Johnstown against the Roosevelt Rough Riders. Then senior night next Tuesday. Brian Nick will have the call of that game, 5.30 for the girls. And then the boys to follow from Fort Morgan High School against the Northridge Grizzlies. I'm John Beltran. The final score once again tonight from Valley High School in Gilcrest. A tight game in the end, but the Valley Vikings win it over the Fort Morgan Mustangs, 46-43 on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network.